Configuring enterprise single sign-on based on your organization's identity provider allows your users to securely access Document 360 projects using their existing corporate account without needing to maintain a separate Document 360 login credential. Document 360 provides two standard protocols of SSO to choose from, SAML or OpenID. There are several ways of configuring each of these depending on your identity provider, whether it's Okta, Microsoft Azure's Active Directory, or Google SSO, and detailed instructions are provided in the documentation. Once Enterprise SSO is enabled for your project, you can start adding new SSO users, which is very similar to adding a regular user. In the settings, under Project Admin, click on Team and Security. In the Team Members tab, click on the Add Team Member button. Enter the email address and select the user type as SSO user and configure the rest of the profile and click Add. In the list of team members page, you can distinguish your SSO users with a yellow SSO user tag next to the name. You can also invite existing users in a project to SSO. In the Enterprise SSO page, under the Configured SSO, you can find the Invite Existing User section. Here, you can either invite all or pick and invite select team members to SSO. The added users will receive an invitation email and they can log in using SSO. Removing users from SSO can be done from the Team and Security settings in the Team Members tab. Select one or more users from the list and click Delete and confirm the operation. If the user was a regular user before SSO, they will still have access to the project unless removed again as a Document 360 user. However, if the user was added as an SSO user, then they will be permanently removed from the project. If you have multiple email domains that need to be authorized for SSO, you can do so by entering them in the Email Domains field. Enter the domains by adding a comma after each one. Enabling the Bypass Document 360 common login page will take your users directly to the SSO login page instead of the standard Document 360 login page. It's also possible to map an existing SSO configuration to other Document 360 projects you manage from your account, avoiding the need to repeat the whole configuration process again. In the Enterprise SSO section, select the SSO Standard tab you wish to map with an existing configuration. Click the Edit icon in the SAML or OpenID Basic Configuration. Here, you'll find an option to configure an existing connection. Click Select, and from the drop-down, select the intended connection and click Save. The connection will be mapped to your project in seconds. Using Enterprise SSO can enrich the user experience and at the same time provide an additional level of security.